A king's curio cabinet, empty for years, is now chock full of royal antiques. A chance for you to share in Kalakaua's love of collecting. A busy day for tours at Iolani Palace as visitors take a step back in time to get a glimpse of the life of our ali'i. Many will take the time to stop and look at the antiques in this curio cabinet that belong to King Kalakaua. Made by the A.H. Davenport Company of Boston, it carries the crown, the royal symbol that appears on palace pieces. Like many Victorians, Kalakaua loved to use this very cabinet to display his curiosities. He collected a variety of things. He had a lot of gifts from around the world, from his round the world travels, gifts that were given by foreign sovereigns, and he also collected a lot of Hawaiian antiquities. But for many years, this cabinet sat right here in this huge room, empty. It sat there, first of all, as a big empty piece in the hall because at least during the time I've been here, we haven't been able to locate the key. And it's not so easy to just call a locksmith to do something on a, on a period piece, especially an actual palace artifact. After two years of searching, they finally found the key while cleaning out a desk, and they were able to open the door to perpetuate the past. And I've been wanting to put things in this cabinet for a long time, so that was my license to go back through storage and start pulling artifacts to put in here. In it, you'll find several pieces from Japan, including a silver sake set given to the king by the Meiji Emperor, and Hawaiian calabashes as well, keeping the king's collections alive. We always get to see these things, and I think it's wonderful to be able to, to share these things with the public because they give a fuller idea of, of what was in the palace and the, the sort of diverse tastes of the monarchy. Palace officials will change out the items every now and then. In 1881, Kalakaua became the first monarch to circle the globe, so needless to say, he did a lot of collecting.